Bro, that is so Russian. No, but we have noodles and potato. No, we're not doing moment of truth. I want to watch uh, our favorite uh, old problematic Baldi. These carriages are carrying the mineral wealth of eastern Siberia, westwards towards Moscow and further afield. And that is made possible for one reason, the BAM Railway. I did miss Baldi's adventure. The Soviet economy stagnating, Brezhnev wanted to open up the vast untapped wealth of eastern Siberia. To do so, he had to build a railway line across that vast land. It was the greatest engineering project of the 20th century. It was known as the BAM, the Baikal Amorska Main Line. Today, we're going to take a journey across it. Join me. He is Find such a Soviet boo. Station is an old tower that was built in 1906 before the Soviet Revolution. And this is in fact the last piece of pre-revolutionary architecture a we're Sophia gonna see for the remainder of our trip on the barn because everything we're gonna see, the, the infrastructure, the railway stations, the hotels, the shops, everything was built for the barn in the 70s and the 80s. Before that, there was nothing but forest. Is he a commie? No, he's journey, reactionary. Old golden Lenin's head here in Taishet. Bring me luck, Lenin. Cheers. Trains don't stop for long on the bomb, so you have to jump on as soon as he gets here. Twenty-two. Carriage twenty-two. He's one hundred percent not a leftist. Oh, lovely. Old school. But he Russian does love train. Soviet shit. The dream. Soup. Bro, that is so Russian. No, but we have noodles and potato. Over there, you can see the Trans-Siberian main line branching away to the right. It's heading south. South to Irkutsk and south of Lake Baikal. We're now directing off in this direction to the north of the lake and across the middle of Siberia. Our first stop tomorrow morning will be Severa Baikalsk, northern Baikal, that means. Bye bye, Trans Siberian. Oh. Bye bye, Trans Siberian. Oh, Rust. One of you guys sent me uh, that exact same tea mug. I can't emphasize and reiterate enough just what an engineering marvel the Barn Railway is. Every mountain we pass through had to be tunneled. Every river we cross had to be bridged. Every forest had to be hacked down and tracks laid for hundreds and hundreds of miles. The Soviet government spent billions of rubles building the Barn Railway. And what was supposed to enrich the Soviet economy almost bankrupted it. Yes, he's a reactionary. He's transphobic. He's misogynistic. He's a sex pest. I don't care. Stop like losing your mind over every YouTuber. Okay, shut up. We know. We've talked about it already. He's doing infrastructure porn. I'm gonna watch it. We're just passing literally. By so 
He literally has ED from COVID, dude. And he had to delete his video. Why give him views? Why give a man who already has 2 million views on his video views? Is that what you just said? Why give this man who has 3.26 million subscribers with 2 million views one additional view? Now, of course, we've been watching this dude for one and a half years, but here comes six month old subs telling you how it's immoral. I know. So many abandoned cranes and bulldozers. You're showing the more potential viewers. I know. I know I am. I don't care. There you go. I don't care. Suck it. I don't care. I'm platforming him. I love him. I love him and I endorse everything he's saying all the time, including his anti vaxxer shit. All of it. Okay. I endorse Baldy wholeheartedly. Okay. There you go. Cruises and trucks and. All this stuff that was built or brought here to build the bad railway and then soon afterwards just abandoned, no longer needed. Wow. This is going to be one of the most fascinating trips I've ever taken in the former Soviet Union. Wow. On the side of people's houses in the villages are like bear skins just drying on the side of wooden houses. Wow. Oh, and here's our cleaner. Wow. Gotta keep the band tidy. We've stopped off in a town called Vicherevka. Let's buy some Doshirak Red if they've got some in this shop. They better bloody have. Super. Wow, what mm. a great shop here in old Vivirovka or whatever it's called. We've got Doshirak, a Soviet lemonade, and this. Wait, that's... that looks delicious, dude. All of that. Thank you. Buffet, Lambo, every buffet. Station building, warm light inside, potted plants, snow on the ground. It's like a Christmas scene. If only there wasn't a Russian dude snoring on the opposite bunk. I don't know why there's no one else out of all the people that travel the world that captures the essence of an area quite like Baldi does. Okay, yes, he has a lot of reactionary takes, but he's such a like Russia boo, okay? Like a like a what would be what what would be the proper term like a Russia Russia filiac and so passionate that his videos are fire. Like Slava boo, I don't know. I mean, he himself is Slav uh, too, but but it's awesome. His videos are great. I love watching his videos. I'm not endorsing what he has said in the past or done or how he is now. I have no idea, but I like the shit that he shows and I like the way he shows it. So Sorry, chatters. If, if this is gonna, you know, destroy your perception, your sense of self, what you feel about me, well, doesn't matter. I don't care. Backpedal Bertrand Epela. What? Okay, that's a ban. Yeah, I separate the vlog from the vlogger. This guy's nasal cavities are a real piece of work. Hasn't stopped snoring since he got on the train. It's now two o'clock in the morning. I've not had a minute's sleep yet. I don't know why, like, seeing trains like this also remind me of Turkey. Like, Turkey has trains like this as well. I used to use them when I was, uh... When I was younger. Between Istanbul and Ankara. Oh. Four forty in the morning, minus five, but I'm willing to come out here just to escape that bloody snorer. Let's have a look at the old railway station here in the town of what I think is called Lena. Judging by what's written on the side of the building, Lena, because this town obviously stands on the River Lena, a river that flows from Lake Baikal all the way up to the Arctic Sea now into that ocean. Anyway, let's see what's inside the railway station. 
Brrr, check out the snow. Давайте, брат, давайте. Лежи, кружок. Здравствуйте, дайте, пожалуйста, пельмени этого. Гарми. И взяли микроват, я мне, пожалуйста. Спасибо. Here we have some fried pilmeni, a real food of the north, Siberian food. Здравствуйте. Хорошо. What are we going to do about this dude in our coupe? The fact that he's, he's snoring, it's keeping me awake. That's not a major problem. The problem is, when we get to Severa by Cows tomorrow morning, how am I going to feel if I'm shattered? That's all that I'm worried about. Anyway. Let's eat some pill mini, jump back on the train, hopefully fall asleep. Well, before we jump back on the train, I thought we'll have a quick look outside the front of the station and look what I've seen. There's a little monument to the builders of the BAM Railway, celebrating 45 years. And here they are, three of them. And I that, that in and of itself is entirely different culturally than anything you will ever see in the Western liberal capitalist world, even in social democracies. Putting the worker at the forefront and front and center. And uh, I guess we, we often talk about like venerating people, right? Veterans and individuals like that. But rarely do you ever venerate the person who is uh, just straight up a, a, a collective. Over here. I don't know if you can see this in the dark. Oh, it's cold. There's a statue of some dude. Some dude who probably discovered this part of Siberia for the Russian Imperial Crown. Mr. Ivanu Galkinu. Ivanu Galkinu. There he is in full glory. Probably the worst bloody night of my life. Uh -huh. Thanks for old matey boy here, snoring all night. But um, anyway, check out the view. How beautiful it is here in Siberia. Look at it. And there's the culprit who kept me up all night. What the? Спасибо, Боже. До свидания. Does he not speak English at all? Uh huh. Wait. We've made it to old Severo Baikalsk. Let's go and check this town out. What a night! Извините, пожалуйста. Комната отдыха. Туда прямо, да? Хорошо. I don't think you need to speak English to know that someone's talking shit on you when they point at you directly. Check out old Soviet. Soviet Severo Baikalsk railway station. God, I'm barely awake, lads. I'm barely awake. Where's the restroom? Upstairs or down here? Down here. Wow, let's see what the hotel rooms look like here in Severa by Kalsk. I've never stayed in the railway station before. Might be the way forwards in the future. Мой первый раз спать в вокзал. Где до вокзал в России? Да, 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 первый раз. Вот здесь кипяток можете наливать, но кушать у себя. Супер, это как дома. Да, микроволновка. Супер. О, я буду здесь постоянно. Туалет вот здесь напротив. Хорошо. Вот. Все, и вот. Ну, здесь тепло. Подушка О, одеяла здесь. Маленький советский комнаты. Спасибо вам большое. Да. Будет Ключики удобно. Ключики можете закрывать, брать с собой. Окей, спасибо. Окей. Okay. In the lovely hotel room of Severa Bay Cows Railway Station. I'm going to sleep for a few hours, boys. I'll um, see you later, probably on the shores of Lake Baikal. Well, I think we've just discovered the ultimate 
Trans <laughs> Bro, they put, they put another roommate in his room again. It's the same guy. <laughs> Siberian travel hack. Why stay in hotels when we can stay in flipping Soviet railway stations for a tenner a night? And what a Soviet railway station is. Let me tell you about it. Look at it, Voxal. This railway station, like the rest of the town here, surveyed by Karls, was built by the Leningrad Komsomol. And it's meant to represent a big sail. Look at the sail. And there's the mast. I mean, it doesn't look much like a sail to me, but anyway. Because of Lake Baikal. That's why they built a big kind of sailing ship. And there it is. Guys, you know in England when you buy a pair of boots or a jacket and it says, you can wear it to minus five. <laughs> Well, here in Old Severa Bay Cows, when you advertise a pair of shoes, it says you can wear it to minus 60 degrees centigrade. Minus bloody 60 degrees. That's what life is like on the BAM. Wow, and check out this street name. I'm just loving old BAM adventures. Check it out. This road outside the railway station is called Prospect 60 Years of the USSR. Wow. Don't know what to say. <laughs> He's literally such a Soviet boo, dude. I've got that fuzzy feeling inside of me again that I had in St. Petersburg Railway Station. What a town. Ubas is Krasivi Gorod, Severe Baikals. Kakaga Viper Yechli Suda. Вот Хорошо. Ну, спасибо вам. Хорошего дня. Вам тоже. Вам тоже. Wow, there was a babushka who arrived he here in the babushka. BAM days when they were building the BAM. This town was built in the 70s. So, when you meet someone, you can always say, when did you move here? Because there was pretty much no one born here, unless you're, well, I suppose you're a little bit younger than me. I want to show you this sign up here that says Prospect Leningradsky. This is the main street that runs through Severo Bay Cal. So normally the main street in a Russian city or a former Soviet city would be called Kirov or Lenin, communism, but not here. And that's because this town was built, as I said before, by people from Leningrad. All the towns along the farm were built by different nationalities. There were towns built by Uzbeks, towns built by Tajiks, towns like this one built by people from Leningrad. And all the towns have their own individual, their own individual, little bit of flavor and little architectural motifs. When you go to a town built by the Estonians, there'll be little things there that remind you of Estonia. It's so sick. This is the old shopping center of Severa Baikowsk. The old Soviet shopping center. It's probably a lot different now. <laughs> the restaurant Leningrad, there's a sign up there that says Restaurant Leningrad. Hello. The, <laughs> hello. hello. Are Kazakhs Turks? Yes. They're Turkic. Yes. People from Kazakhstan. Oh my God, Fiona's back. Thank you, Murat. Both, both Chris and I were very sad when we came back home last night and Fiona wasn't here. There's just a, an emptiness in the house without her. Hi, baby. Hi. Love you. I love her. Okay. But the lady, the old babushka, old babushka, the babushka, she said to me that it's closed down long ago, but it used to be delicious. <laughs> Things have changed in old Severa Bay House, but everything used to be called <clears throat> Leningrad. Restaurants, streets, buildings. Here in front of the Palace of Culture, we've got a statue that says Bam Daroga Druzhby, Road of Friendship. And here you've got people from the different republics. You've got an obvious, an obviously Asian man, maybe a Caucasian lady and a couple of Russians. 
And that's because, as I said before, people came from all over the former Soviet Union, all the republics and other communist countries, East Germany, Hungary, to build the BAM railway. The reason why I never show Fiona is because she doesn't like getting picked up. She's tiny, but she hates getting picked up. And that's why I never uh, pick her up. Bringing all these people together. BAM, road of friendship. And it's still a friendly place. Let's go and check out the Palace of Culture called Zelezna Dorozhnik. The railway worker, everything's bloody BAM. <laughs> everything's bloody BAM in this part of the world, isn't it? Anyway, let's go and see if they'll let us inside, have a little look around. Wow, look at this, Arboretum. Wow. He loves this shit, dude. I don't think there's any country in the world that likes a palm tree, <laughs> quite like the Russians, or well, probably the Soviets. Wow, check this place out. The old Soviet Arboretum here in Severe Bay Kalsk. Wow, even got a pond. Wow, for the turtles. Байкал-Амурское <laughs> 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 На протяжении всего э, Байкала-Амурской магистрали, ну. где есть зимний сад. Значит, что Северо-Байкалск это самый хороший город на БАМ? А, его строили ленинградцы. О, они умные. Yes, of course. А. <laughs> То ага, она. карта у нас есть, хорошо. Проходит от станции Лена. А, да. До станции Комсомольск на Амуре. Понятно. Ее протяженность 3501 километр Ой, главного хода. Вот на этой территории до 1974 года не было ничего. Ничего. Построили дорогу. Вот к этим 3501 километр wow. добавьте более 60 населенных пунктов, городов и поселков. Простите. К этому добавьте 4000 мостов автомобильных, железнодорожных. И к этому добавьте 8 уникальных бамовских тоннелей. Думаю, что... Chat, I, um, I interrupt this broadcast because I want to show you something. I'm eating gülü oğlu baklava from Turkey that my brother brought from Turkey. Это было самый большой проект в последний век. It was, I wasn't even baklava, it's, uh... В истории человечества таких... That was a pistachio roll. ...их проектов в 20 веке mm -hmm. не было. Mm -hmm. Только Байкало-Амурская магистра. Согласен. Yeah, those are not Greek, bro. They're Turkish. Back on the mean streets of Severa Baykalsk. Right then, I think it's time we um, go down to Lake Baykal itself and check it out. Well, guys, check it out. The wondrousness that is Lake Baikal. Check it out. It's huge inland sea, in a sense, that stretches all the way down almost to Mongolia. Check it out. Let's go down to the water's edge. This is a baklava. A this is a real Turkish baklava from Gülolu. This is a corner one, so it's not as good as a piece, but... <sighs> Mm. So buttery. 
Is it better? Uh, straight from Turkey? Yes. Baklava is not Greek. It's Turkish. They 100% stole it. It's so sweet and so buttery. I'm actually, um, honestly, no, there is like a, I think Hajiola maybe. There is a, there is a baklava brand that like ships in America. Yeah, they do. Hajiola baklava with walnut. Mix baklava with pistachio and walnut. Pretty sure you can get it in America too. I wonder if it's Gülüoğlu, not Hajiola. The brand Gülüoğlu, the baklava that I'm eating, is literally like that restaurant started in 1817 or something. Wait, there's a Gülüoğlu baklava in Granada Hills, California? No way. Probably not the real one, but anyway. Homemade is much better now. No, I've, ne I've never had homemade baklava. All right, let's go. Well, apparently doing that means I'm going to live to a ripe old age. Even longer than I would have lived if I'd taken old Vasili's hundred-year-old <laughs> elixir of life from Babushka's recipes. Anyway, this is Lake Baikal and what a bloody stunning place it is. Wow, Russia has just got some of the most beautiful scenery. Look at it, the mountains, whatever they are in the distance, whatever range that is. Wow, and it's so clean, the water. Being here on the shores of Baikal, the greatest of the Great Lakes, it makes all the hardships of travel. Bro, even Russia's lakeside uh, looks dark as f like It just looks so dark. It looks like you just get radiation poisoning by standing next to it, you know what I mean? Probably cleaner than 90% of Chad's US tap water. Yeah, I'm just saying it just looks dark as regardless on the trans-siberian worth it the snoring companions the lack of decent food the change in time zones the huge distances it's all worth it when you see a place like this like this chatter is literally never spoken in this chat i think some people literally only come in here just to be like yo i gotta stop responding Soil is much darker. It is dark. Спасибо, Дани. За все. Были очень удобные и уютные места. До свидания. Здравствуйте. Мне пришлось макароны и соус типа. This looks so bad, dude. Food-wise, like this is giving me PTSD. This is like reminding me of Turkish cafeteria food right now. Oh. А вы откуда? Мы здесь нет. Ну, я думаю, что вы не родились здесь. Нет. Откуда? Сюда приехала из Беларуси. Когда вы переехали из Беларуси? Когда приехали здесь? Да. В 82 году. Для бам работать здесь на бам или как? А вот замуж вышла и сюда приехала. Well, our train for the east is leaving in about 10 minutes. No, so we've got just enough time it. for a, a little pasta meal and a glass of compote here in the railway station Stolovaya. And this meal, as I know some of you like to know the prices of things, came to a grand total of 75 rubles, which is 75 pence. So, um, yeah, maybe not the greatest culinary meal, but um, one of the cheapest. This is the funniest part about it. He's always like, he's always hyping out how cheap this shit is. Uh, most of the re I mean, obviously, most of the places he goes to are like kind of dog shit. Let's be real. So, of course, the only thing he can hype up is like how affordable it is. Obviously, like I get that. Still, still funny though when he does that. Uh -huh. What the? F the feeling there's going to be some kids keeping me awake at night. Oh no! Bye bye, Severa Baikalsk. Hey, 
coupe compartments on a BAM are just full of miners, men who have traveled from Western Russian towns to come here to work underground for a month or two, exploiting the gold, the diamonds, the coal, the copper, the mineral wealth of the BAM region. The bomb, however, wasn't only built to exploit the riches of Eastern... Why is he being with random people? I'm almost certain that he probably asked them, considering the fact that they're literally traveling together for hours and hours and hours, and you're only seeing two minutes of video with the people, okay? Siberia, it was also built to protect the nation, the Soviet Union. In the 1960s, China and the Soviet Union fell out, which led to, in 1969, a brief border war. However, that border war exposed how vulnerable the Trans-Siberian was to being cut off by an invasion from China. Yeah, for betraying, betraying uh, Stalin and uh, betraying the true uh, Leninist principles of, of Marxist Leninism in its application in its uh, revisionist de-Stalinizing era. And it was the right thing for Mao to do so, okay? Thus cutting off the Eastern Seaboard. And hence, the Soviet government decided to build a railway along which they could move troops and weapons in the event of an invasion safer from the reaches of the Chinese Communist Army. And hence, they built the bar. Damn, what is that, dude? She's spitting. This is babushka music. Привет, как дела, как тебя зовут? Давай, давай! Сука, arrived for five minutes in Novi Uoyan. This town was built in 1976 by the Latvian Komsomol. And over there we've got Latvian script on that tower. And we've got houses that are a little bit like Latvian houses with the wooden roofs, the wooden balconies. Wow. We're in a Hassan little... knows all things that men should know. Exactly. That's what I learned in Turkey because there's a lot of Russian women that come down to Turkey for the beaches. And all I need to know is... Uh, you know, davai, davai, da, da, niet. And uh, and also, uh, wait, hold on. Piece of Latvia here in Siberia. And check out behind the train the amazing geography. I don't know if you can pick it up or not, but the mountains. I'm looking at distance. like the other. Look at them, a huge mountain range. I'm looking at the other uh, uh, words. Plus. Wow. What a beautiful setting old Novi Uoyan is. Здравствуйте. Also this. Это вершина часа. Это означает, что есть 60 секундная рекламная пауза. Рекламная пауза. Which means there is a 60 second ad break. Это означает, что есть 60 секундная рекламная пауза. If you want an ad free broadcasting experience, okay? If you want an ad-free broadcasting experience, если вы хотите транслировать без рекламы, then all you need to do is subscribe. Then all you need to do is subscribe. What? Oh. Тогда все, что вам нужно сделать, это подписаться. Подписаться! Okay, okay, hold on. For five dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime. За пять долларов или бесплатно с Twitch Prime. За five dollars или бесплатно с Twitch Prime. How many rule rubles is that? I don't know. Okay, here is the ad break now. Тролли это здание, да? Это здание. Да. Я просто сама не местная тоже, я точно не знаю. Ты тоже не знаешь, ну ладно. That was literally my highest effort ad transition, and you guys didn't even appreciate it. Люди из Латвии, да? Да, 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 да. Тоже Латвия. Я так, да. Нет, нет, ну ладно. Are you Latvian dogs? No. They all stopped.
окрашен своего. Мистер Cookies in Chaos. Thank you. Спасибо, мистер Cookies in Chaos. До свидания. одно и то же Украина, США, все пойти, а мы одни хорошие. Да, вот, это не только в России, как да. Ну, да, типа, да. Англия тоже да, так говорит, так самое, что да. да, да, конечно. Пропаганда. Здесь, конечно, ладно, там где-то кто-то. Даже от зарплаты до зарплаты, блин, очень тяжело. Ну, как бы ладно, там я тут ну, в железной дороге работаю еще как-то. Но люди, я же я смотрю, как. Да. Очень, очень тяжело. Ну, то есть вот они получают по, ну, например, 30, да сколько получается, по 500 долларов блин, в месяц. Ну. И что Про смешно, это. что Россия самая богатая страна в мире. Да. Ну, да, я, я имею в виду ресурсов. Аномалист Даниэл, вот это 20 gifted subs. Да, Спасибо, аномалист Даниэл. Спасибо вам большое. Спасибо Ой, оба. Пошла, пошла, пошла. Очень пошла. интересно знакомиться. Welcome to Tinder, capital of the bomb, built by Moscow. Damn, bro, they literally. I hope you know that your mental health is above everything. That's with other leftists or not. You're doing it. What you're doing is important. Thank you. Eat your hearts out, chat. Thanks, man. Gigabytes. Damn, I can't believe they bought an entire dude. Capitalism came to Russia so hard that Tinder went and bought a whole uh, city. I read a positive message for once. That's right. All it took was 20 gifted subs. I'm just kidding. Come on, I accidentally read it. Don't let me down. Whoa, televisor? Lucha chem my dom. Yeah, but it's postayana. Well once again. Thank you, baller bear. For the tank of this up. Railway station rooms are the way forward. Fifteen quid. Bargain. Before we go exploring a town, I want to show you these magnificent oil paintings that tell the story of how Tinder was built. Check this out. You can see the first people that arrived with their luggage when it was just forest and nothing else in their tents. The original geologists and engineers crossing rivers with their horses and their bags. Wow, this is amazing. An amazing railway station. You get art, you get culture in a railway station. Look at this one. Thank you, Leo No Nair. All the Bamsi and their families. So the thank you for the subs. The Look at it up there. Beautiful Tinder. Let's hope so anyway. Let's walk up to the center. And see what the Muscovites managed to build here so far from home. Russia is the only country still not corrupted by capitalist ideas among the whole population. Bro, are you kidding me? Russia, the way that Russia operates is a complete capitalist oligarchy. What are you talking about? Unless you mean like the actual general population, in which case, yes, there is a large chunk of individuals in Russia that still want to restore the glory of, uh, you know, the USSR, but... That's not necessarily a consequence of like social safety nets. Obviously that factors into it, but more so because the USSR was a dominant world superpower. And I think that's why a lot of Russians want it. My suspicion is that yes, large, but not a majority. 75% is not large, but not a majority to you or 74%. The real important stuff, how to date Russian women. If you're a foreigner. Hello, my dear comrades. I no, dude. He was 30. We're gonna watch that TikTok after this video is done. Um, life expectancy is still lower relative to what it would be if the USSR continued on its trajectory. Remember, remember, 
the USSR was a global superpower, okay? That was warring and had a sphere of influence all around the planet and was warring with the other global superpower in an ideological battle where capitalism clearly won. But, like, that has a lot of, uh, you know, positive nostalgic attitudes in an otherwise, like, nationalistic country that feels embarrassed now and feels defeated and is also and and those feelings of course are heightened by the material conditions that they're subjected to so that that is a significant that plays a significant role in a lot of people living in Russia uh feeling that way the communist party supporters are split between leftist and more stalinist slash nationalist longings of a greater past yeah Сейчас сколько населения здесь? А раньше были 100 тысяч, да? Что не было, ну было где-то 60-70 ага. тысяч, когда строили, а потом нас все поразъехались. А когда вы приехали сюда, если не секрет? Ой, я давно приехала, в 76 году. А вы здесь строили бам тогда? Или? Да, у меня есть строительство, как медаль за, строительство, за обслуживание, ну за строительство. О. А когда были сами весоли? Uh, вот в то время, то время, вот, ой, 70-е, 80-е годы, вот вторая половина 70-х и начало 80-х. Это, это просто какое-то отдельное время, это отдельный какой-то, я не знаю, коммунизм. Mm. Ну, Какая-то эпоха другая была. Понятно. Когда понятно. столько магирусы ездили, все молодые, приехали со всех уголков, все такие дружные были, все такие, ну вообще, с соседями дружили, все люди родственники были. Let's see what the kids of this town are reading in this children's library. What's this one? Oh. First love. What is the well, communist the manifesto? So I suppose, um, yeah, it's fitting. Saucy little devils. Well, I've stumbled upon the BAM wall of hotties here in the town of Tinder. Huh. Let's do some swiping. Well, here we go then. Tinder in Tinder. Now you 3%, you can join in too. Let's see who we got. Wow, hello, Elena. Definite swipe right. What a hottie. Oh, crikey. Look at these couple of Alexanders. Crikey. Couple of heartbreakers in the town of Tinder. Oh, Nina. <laughs> Nina's got a sparkle in her eye. Look at her. I've got a thing for Nina. He's such a creeper, dude. Swipe right. Crikey. Any of you ladies? Want to take on Sergey? Looks like he'd be fun on a date. <gasps> oh, and here we have Eliessa. Swipe right. Oh, you Katerina. Where have you been all my life? Swipe. Baldy would f Katerina. Swipe right. Guys. Well. So, because he's a sex pest and he's like PUA past, obviously when he makes that joke, you feel some type of way, but like he's, he's joking. That's what is known as a joke. That brings our time on the BAM to an end. There's Except for when he f***ed Babushka in the radiation zone. That was not a joke. I'm almost certain he f***ed Babushka. Nothing left to do but to raise our this railway was... cup in a toast to the builders of the Baikal Amur mainline. Because they weren't just legends, they were Soviet legends. I have that mug. Looking for a drink in deepest Siberia? Dude, he's a freak, dude. Baldi is a, a, is a different kind of freak. He just goes, he, he goes to the crazy, crazy places. Vampire TikTok suck. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>